Hi everyone, welcome back to Life Ray tutorial series. In episode 1, we explored what Life Ray is and why it affects powerful platform for building enterprise portal and digital experience. Today, we are diving into something practical. We will install Life Ray, set up the development environment, and get our first workspace ready to go. So, Let's get started. Before you are installing the life ray, you have to set up our prerequisite. First, you need to use Java JDK 11 or 17. Life ray runs on Java, so it works. The other things which we will cover in this video is downloading the life ray. Life ray installation and setup, setting up the workspace, and uh, finally, we will run the life ray and we can see the life ray portal in the browser. Let's get started. So, we will be covering the prerequisite. So, Java JDK 11 will be required for this one. The other one is a Java or JDK 17. So, either one of this one will be required. The IDE that is an optional thing. So, that will be covered the later. So, next, in order to check the Java is already installed or not, we can use the terminal command in Java is in version. So, currently it is not installed. So, next we can go and with Java JDK installation, go to the Oracle website and currently I am choosing the JDK 17 and we will be using the Windows installer part. So, once that gets downloaded, we can install the currently I am already downloaded. So I'm going to install that. Installing that Java JDK. Also, the installation that we have to choose the path and then after that, we can install that. Then it will get installed. And after the installation, we need to see the environment that Java for. In our system and one in the environment variable section. So, in order to do that, we need to click on the window and we choose the system or it is and from there search the environment variable. Click on the environment variables and under the system variables. We can add, and here we have to change the name as in Java or Java icon or underscore icon. and the location we have to choose the JDK installation file location. We can browse and choose the JDK file location. So in order to be how to add that a big folder in location this percentage in the uh, in this location. So as you can see all of this in the same way. You need to add it. Uh, After all setting, click OK. Now close your CMD 
and run it again and check the new detail it's all normal now we do it this way here see now you can see your java version is getting displayed that means our uh, JDK solution is success All other ID Apache and Git are optional. It is not a mandatory prerequisite. So we can skip as of now. Next thing is we have to download the library. So we have to the library.com. I have, I will uh, like mention the download link in the description. So you can check that one. So download the library. Community edition or DSP. If you have links, you can download the DSP. Otherwise, uh, download the community edition. Choose the bundle uh, for the source code, whatever which you are. Uh, interesting and you can zip the bundle so i have already opened the, this is the website where you can download the link right so in the uh, right side you can see there are uh, uh, like the portal or commerce in there you can see a drop down docker image is the bundled with the tomcat and then the uh, zip and uh, on, on, uh, some other options also there so whatever which you need you can choose the docker image is something like will be that will be uh, uh, using the docker we have to first we have to install the docker and from there you have to uh, install uh, like, like, you can install that one so currently i'm not going with that one so i'm using the dot zip file method so we will be downloading that uh, with file and uh, extract that one. So currently, I have already downloaded that one here and extract the path wherever which you need this one. You can zip that file here. So we have downloaded the network and zip and we have to set the environment variable now for the uh, catalina form. So in order to do that one we have to follow the same process what we have done for the Java. So in the Tomcat now the path will be under in the Tomcat wherever we have unzipped that path we have to take to the Tomcat and under the path we have to give the percentage B location here as we have done for Java the same way. Uh, open your uh, command prompt and go to your uh, library file location so where you have unzipped and change that file location of the terminal to that one so this is my location where i have unzipped the tomcat after that run the startup and, and yeah 
also that way the runter from catcher of the runter then they when we come up on here so it will take some time maybe few minutes so you can see the main frame is it will be displayed on the terminal so it will automatically start the browser with the port 8080 so wait for that sometimes after that it will load the browser the default browser yeah it is loaded so here you can see how to give the basic configurations of the like for the initial setup the site name and the name also you can set the language also so currently I'm giving you the test name you can do whatever it's you want The language you can say to what of the language is where the standard on also also the person will be there to the name configurations for the database that it be as a hybrid only if you want to consult so if you are using your custom media that you can save the db configuration here once we set all this one click the submit button and find in configuration so this uh, once we can take uh, as to okay, send with the password so you have to get set the password and so after that there will be password recovery for sense which will be get as well so you can choose the recovery for sense also so please now you have to remember the questions answer and then engage if you forget the previous password you can recover the password by using this recovery percent answer mm -hmm. submit the details then it will take some time to load You can do Go on to the next thing. It is loading. You can, once it is get loaded, you can see the yeah. Welcome to Lake. This is the mission screen. And so in this episode we have covered set up in the java and require to download the link start with the link and complete the initial setup in the next episode we will dive into the later portal itself exploring the interface control panel and building tools available to
your administrator and contact page. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe.